Look who it is. Mr. Bobito in the flesh. Bluey, our blue insulators, our blue Komodo Island pit vapor. We give our snakes a couple names. Looks like I got a couple names. Hey! I love her. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. Into the soup with her. Hey! So we're gonna try to check her for mites. Without getting bitten on the nose. You guys know him. You guys love him. This is Greeny. Oh! tripod we got one we're using it look at these guys high energy video today okay are you with me on that are you here for that good great how are you good to see you lots to do today in the room of the serpents okay we're gonna get just about everybody out and i say that quite often and then don't today we finna do that first things first we gotta take our boas out and we're gonna soak them in some water and clean out their big old cage we don't have we don't talk about our bows too much. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Our lovely Adrian Balboa, cleverly named, I know. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. Really just a stunner of a snake. You're out of here, kid. You're out of here. You're done with it. <sighs> Having children, guys, it's not easy. So we're soaking these two lovely critters here. Our red tailed boas. Adrian. I know guys, non-venomous snake, so weird. I love her. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. Into the soup with her. Now you regulars here on Duff Does Nature Stuff, you know Adrian was the first snake I got once I moved to Florida after pretty much getting rid of my whole collection that I had back in Ohio. We're gonna throw her in there, okay? We're gonna throw her in the water. We got her and her boyfriend. It's a little embarrassing to admit it, but we've got a slight mite situation going on. I don't know where they came from, and I guess that's how it is. Now you can see it's not a lot, obviously, like she's not riddled. I think I just saw one though. The point is, you don't wanna wait till they're riddled with them. You wanna get rid of them when you first see them, okay? So we're gonna soak these two boas, try to drown any mites currently on them. Then we're gonna spray them with the Nyx and leave them in there for about 24 hours, unfortunately, and then we'll update you. Yeah, yeah, you beautifuls. Can you see me? I can't tell you. So hopefully I'm in frame here. Just got a bucket of water, as one does. Gonna soak them for about an hour or two. So we won't be taking them out in this video, but I'll just run you guys through my game plan. Gonna soak them for about an hour or two. Let them, any mites on their body kind of get killed off and drown. And then we're gonna have, we have a mite solution that we'll spray them down with and leave them in there for about 24 hours, see how they look, and then uh, we'll go from there. So you guys will get updated on that, but for now we're gonna close these guys in here and say goodbye. Hey mama, you have to go in the water, okay? You have to go in the water, okay? It's so cold. Thank you mama. Hey, 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 stay in the water, okay? Yes, guys, I did wash my hands in between holding my snakes that are currently mited up. Yeah. So this, as you all know, hey, is our lovely, beautiful, can you see him? This is our guy Prometheus, AKA Diesel. We couldn't decide on a name. Guys, here at Dub Does Nature Stuff, all right? We give our snakes a couple names. Just like I got a couple names. Hey! Naughty, naughty, naughty boy. He's a naughty little. Oh, thanks there, God damn. What's his problem? All righty, we're just taking a quick look at him. I had to clean some poop out of his cage there, so give him some new water, get some poop out of his cage. You know what we do here in Duff, here in Duff Town. Big boy Diesel. He's a good snake. He don't mean to be so grumpy, you know? He's just a grumpy boy, but he's a not a mean boy. He's so nice, look at him. Oh, yes, yes, no, he's not so mean. He's so nice, yeah, he's still not nice. Oh yes, he's a big boy. He's a big boy there. All right, all right. Now y'all remember, when we first got him, he was not so nice, he was not so nice. 
We couldn't even hold him. Look at us now. Look at us now. We do spinning. We do spinning together. We dance. We sing. We dance and we sing. I'm fine. I'm a normal guy. I'm a normal happy guy. Oh, Lord. Not like this. Not like this, please. I love him. Something about a little fiery little snake just a lot of fun. I know he ain't a cobra. I know he ain't a rattlesnake, but hey. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, he's like a little bit. He's a big boy. Look at him. Ooh. You must inspect every scale on your snake when you've got a mite infestation. You never know where they could be hiding. What do we think we should get our next through? Mama, what we gonna do today? <laughs> Alrighty, you guys know him. You guys love him. This is Greeny. Oh, boom, by class. What's your problem, dude? Oh, he's such a handsome devil. Little cranky though, isn't he? Alrighty. So Greeny is one of our two Komodo Island pit vipers. Our Insularis pit vipers. Hey, hey, what is your problem, dude? He's trying to bite himself. All right, he's a cranky crankerson. We don't want to bother him too much. We just, I told you we're getting every snake out, so we're getting every snake out. We're going to put him back. Because well, they were just in our last video, so you saw him eat a couple days ago. We're going to put him back. Whoa. We're going to get his sister out. We're going to keep him pushing. Now here she is. The belle of the ball. The beauty to my beast. What, dude? I don't know. Bluey, our blue and slurs, our blue Komodo Island Pit Viper. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. She's a hell of a critter, ain't she? She's so beautiful, ain't she? She's just so sweet looking, same color as my snake hook. I just love her. I really do. I really, really do. Look at her go. Wow. What a beautiful snake there. What a truly lovely critter. I feel so lucky to have her. She needs to eat though, girl. You better eat soon or I'm fixing to smack you. God, she's just so beautiful though. I really love just getting around and just staring at her. You know what I mean, dude? It looks like trouble. Looks like trouble to me, kids. Anyways, trouble can be a good thing. That's what I've found. So let's put her away. Keep it pushing. Quick, sweet, and to the point. So up next, guys, on our full snake room mic check slash snake tour slash I might have to check my pants. Anyways, so like I said, we're getting all our snakes out. We're making sure we we only got mites on them boas. We caught it early, so hopefully it's fine. We're still gonna get all our guys out, our girls out, make sure they're healthy, make sure they're happy. Just quick, check on them, do what we gotta do. You know what I mean? Now those of you, again, who know, George was my first snake I ever had. I got this snake when I was eight years old and I'm 24 years old now. So I think he's got dwarfism or something. But he's a hell of a guy. He's a hell of a man. My first snake ever. Very special. Special to me, of course. I mean, for obvious reasons. Because I've had this snake through a lot of my life. You know, I was eight years old. Now 24 years old. If you do the multiplication, division, and subtraction on that, on that equation, it comes down to about, what are we, about four years. So I found it for a play one time. We're going <laughs> to put him away, though. What do you think, George? You done? You over it? What do you think, buddy? You said you might put me back. I'm sick of you. Just kind of doing wellness checks, you know? One snake, two snake, red snake, blue snake. Now I got a red snake and a blue snake. So, who should we get out next? Another venomous snake or another non-venomous snake? Mm, I wonder. Now I wonder if you know what it means. Wow. Look who the frickin' frack it is. African bush viper. Ooh, ooh, he's a feisty one too, isn't he? Look at that beauty right there. Oh, don't look at me like that, big guy. You are a naughty snake. These are not pit vipers, but they are vipers. Check him out. I'm gonna try to turn him here. 
Now he does try to keep his eyes on me. So I'm just gonna do what I can here. Try to trick him into looking at you guys. Hey, there he is. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. The bush viper. Now I've obviously, I'm obviously not gonna get hands on with this guy, but he's a stud, ain't he? A real stud. It's gonna be, it's tough guys, cause I don't really want to get rid of these snakes. I just feel like, I don't know. The other day I was really thinking I don't want them and now I'm really thinking I do want them. It's kind of tough. It's a tough brain to have here when your brain doesn't know what your brain wants, you know, mate? Oh, settle down, settle down, settle down. Okay, dude, settle down. What you so cranky for? So he looks good. Might free since 83. We're gonna go ahead and throw him back in there. Put a little water in his bowl. Keep it pushing. Comment down below. How do we like the new tripod setup instead of just sitting it up on a cage? Probably doesn't really even look that different to you guys because it's just the same. But let me know. We're getting the squall out. And I wonder if you know. Look at that. This is a grumpy snake here. Golly. What's your problem, dude? Anyways. Hey! So we're gonna try to check her for mites. Without getting bitten on the nose. She looks good. She looks good, yeah. Yeah, Mark, I'm trying to get the camera to see you there, your beautiful face there. Huh? What do you think, man, camera? Hey, I'm a swan. I like to bite Alex and he's a real jerk. Yeah, he's a real jerk. He feeds me, he takes care of me, what a jerk. Anyways, looking good. I think we're mite free. Oh yeah, brother. You beautiful, you beautiful critter. All right, girl, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna put you back now. So quit being all sad. Throw her back in there. Get out her little brother. Oh, holy cajoli. Now our little guy's in shed here. Come on, show the camera your face. Show the camera how beautiful you are, yeah? Look at that. My goodness gracious. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Now those are not mites. That's just the darkness under the shed there, mate. They do look like mites, especially on camera. I promise you they aren't. I promise, I promise. He's about to shed too, which is good. So we'll really get a good chance to see uh, see how he's looking. But for now, I say he passes inspection. We're gonna keep it pushing. Now here's a snake that a lot of you might not even know I have. It's another boa. Look at this. Wow. Now technically this is not my snake. So I don't show her too much. But golly, is she beautiful. Golly damn, is she beautiful. Now, this is obviously a color morph of a red tail boa. Settle down. She's a little cranky, so I'm a little... Again, if it bites me, it's no big deal, but you just love to not get bitten if you don't have to. She's a tough one because she's got so much speckling. You know, speckles. It's not spectacles. Speckles. That it's kind of tough to tell if she has mites, but again, it's easier for me to tell in person, and these are all... This is all coloration. This is not mites. So... So that's good news. She passed the test. We'll, th we'll throw her back in her cage. Then we got two snakes left. We're doing, we're doing great, we're doing great. Do you want a worm? I've got worms in here for you. If you want a worm, you can have one worm for one dollar. We have a special surprise for you at the end of this video. So I don't even know why I'm telling you because it's a surprise, but I'm not real good at surprises. But just know, you're gonna get to see somebody at the end of this video who you've probably been wanting to see. But, before we do this, oh yeah, let's see here, there's our little boy. Hi buddy, hi buddy. Hello. Our beautiful, again, this is another one that's not technically my snake, but I'm gonna say our beautiful. Mexican black king snake. You might be thinking to yourself, Alex, how can you tell that my no snake is black because you can't even mic because it's not a black snake black. Okay, I, I'm looking. I can see. And guess what? We're clear. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. All right, then. I've got a hook out, which means this snake's got venom. Hey girl, 
What you doing out there? You looking pretty. You looking cute or whatever. Our lovely girl. Oh, what's heavy? Oh, what's heavy? Oh, uh, what's heavy? Beautiful, beautiful snake. Low battery, buddy, I don't care. I'm working here. Wasabi, you really, really are a stunner, babe. Anyways, guys, she's looking good. A lot of these snakes have these black accents, which makes it a little tough to see if they've got mites. Absolutely love this snake. Oh, what a lucky guy I am. I don't know, guys. Days like today make me want to get more snakes. Days like the other day make me want to get rid of all my snakes. Maybe I should just uh, take a deep breath and relax. Sometimes I forget you can do that, you know? Sometimes I just let it get to me. Follow my new Instagram, by the way. Duff Does Nature Stuff 2.0. I'm locked out of my old Instagram for now. Absolutely sucks, human ball sack. Um, got locked out at 19K. <laughs> we were so close to 20,000 on Instagram and then it's not over, like my account's not gone, so I might be able to get back in, but for now, Duff Does Nature Stuff 2.0. Follow me, hit me up, tell me how beautiful I am. Alrighty, it's our last snake, which means it's time for our special guest. So I'm gonna put this girl away, and we're gonna go on a little bit. Susan, Susie, yeah, so beautiful, so hey. Look at these good dogs. Susan, are you a good girl? Oh, you're a good girl. Yeah. Oh, I'm falling over. Oh, my good puppy. My good puppy. Teddy, how you doing? You recovering from your surgery? Look at my poor baby. I got her all shaved up. My poor puppy. She's a good dog. She's a good, happy dog. That's not why we're out here, though. Let's go find the star of the show. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Mr. Bobito in the flesh. What are you doing, bro? What the frick are you doing over here, man? You're so beautiful, Matt. You're such a beautiful guy. The people have been worried about you, Bobby. They haven't seen you in a few episodes. Anything you want to say? No, I didn't think so. I really didn't think so. Remember, guys, he doesn't just eat romaine lettuce. He has a big, big diet. Lots of fruits. Actually, not lots of fruits. Mostly leafy greens, tortoise chow, a few supplements. Plus he lives outside, he gets to forage. He, a lot of his diet is just grass, which is a good thing. That's what they're supposed to eat. <sighs> Boy, it's getting hot down here in South Florida. About time to start heading back out in the Everglades. Whew. This coffee's got my heartbeat going a little crazy. Point is, another episode is down. We did it, y'all. I'm very thankful for you for being here. I'm very thankful for your patience with my crazy brain. You never know what's coming next on Beth Does Nature Stuff. All we know is something's coming next. 25 hours in the glades very soon, I promise. Oh, I wanted to wait till it's hot out, so I really had to struggle. All righty, kids. I love you dearly. Until next time, you have a great day. I appreciate everything you do for me, everything you do for the world. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your weekend. Have a happy Saturday. Have a happy Sunday. Kick this week's ass, all right? See you soon.